Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And our trip to Steam Forge Games begins. Well, my flight's about to board in five minutes, and I made it here just in time because all three parking lots at the airport were unfortunately full. Had to head to a completely separate parking lot, take a shuttle. Normally, that wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm running already a little late today, so I don't have that much leeway room. But fortunately, I'm here. All things are good, which means next stop is boarding, getting on the plane. Maybe I'll see you there, and then over at Boston, we can take the plane down to Steamforge. Have a three-hour layover there, but I have games, I have rule books, I have things to keep me occupied. I made my way to Logan Airport over here, and I'm over here, and I found a little uh, Meg over here. Hi. Are we doing vlog well, stuff? No, mine's not even so on. I just want to share something. I finished Devin. my segment. You're not guys. Glass. Glass. Devin, uh, yeah. we say hi. Hey, did how's you it going? Too? Are you in first class? We've, and we've been sitting here over the table over here. We ran into some lovely people who are making their way to Scotland. Uh, they're having a fun little trip over there. But yeah, we're going to be going on to the next flight soon. We're going to be getting some games. We're doing a video. So here's our fun little thing we're doing, okay? We're going to be doing a video of the top 10 best games to play on a plane. And we're going to film it on the plane. I'll let you know how it goes. We'll see what happens. I don't know if this idea will work or not. It depends on how upset people around us get or not. Because if it, if it pisses people off, we're not going to do it. We're going to stop. So we'll figure it out. But either way, I'll be back with you in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and uh. Oh wait, hi. Hey, she's back. She's back. I brought like five games to play on the plane, so we'll see if we, we play them. Three, Only five? Three, I brought like eight. Well, so yeah. some are in my carry-on bag that I'm gonna swap out for the flight back. Yeah, I did the same. I did the same. I have a few games. But either way, I have stuff. I have stuff. We'll talk about. It. Anyways, we got games. We got lots of games. We'll go ahead and we'll see you shortly. Oh wait, no. Okay. So we boarded the first leg of the journey, and that's all right. over now. We just finished our like five, six hour flight. We just landed in Dublin that's over here. Oh, we got Meg trying to turn off the lights. I don't know why. Bright. We have Devin. Devin, hey Devin, say hi to everyone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we just started filming our 10 best <coughs> games to play on a plane on a plane. Yes, the video is probably going to be as about, about as obnoxious as you'd imagine. Lots of background noise, but it is charming. You have to admit, the idea, the concept is very charming, even if the execution is completely unwatchable. But you should watch it, because it's charming, so like that. And now we're going to head to Dublin, then uh, it's like 12 o'clock p.m. We're going to pretend to sleep on the ground for an hour, and then pretend to sleep on a plane for an hour, and then actually fall asleep and miss our entire event. But that should be fun. 12 a.m. Bye, bye, bye. We can't miss it. She's right. She's right. That would be bad. You're 12 not in the morning, going into 1 in the morning, not yeah. noon. Yeah, I got energy now, but in about two hours, I will be, I'll still have energy, but then tomorrow, I'll, I'll crash. Okay, we're making our way down to the Steam Forge event no, shortly. This is going to be the initial, hey, Devin, Devin, I'm vlogging. Are we, are Wait, are you, are you, double vlogging? Are you double vlogging? Are you double vlogging? Are you double vlogging? Double vlogging? <laughs> Meg just showed up. We've been hanging out for the past hour or so. Oh, come, yeah, that's not true. That's not true. We were, we were hanging out for the past few hours, an hour or so. Lovely human being. That actually wait, wait, yeah. got me here. Are you, are you, are you am, am I supposed to be a lovely yeah, human being? Yeah, lovely human being. Are, 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 are we competing? We're competing. We're, we're competing. We're winning. We're heading to Steam Force headquarters. We're going to be doing the initial uh, press event type thing, Majiggy. So you can expect to see more stuff shortly. Meg, I think we're obnoxious. I think we're obnoxious. I think we're obnoxious. The lighting here is pretty funky, but this is the set they use for the presentation the giant projector, the Monster Hunter World Iceborne show. Now, we weren't allowed to film doing the show itself, but basically, they started showing us the various things you can expect from Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Uh, there's some of the things that you could have seen if you watch my video, my interview with Steamforge Games, you'll see some of those things. But they talked about the new, you know, the, the clutch claw, they talked about the, uh, the role of the tracking and the way that's going to change. Uh, a bunch of new elements as far as much more engaged terrain. Uh, they also showcased all the various, not all, not all, not even close to all, they showed a, showcased a bunch of the various monsters you'll be facing off against in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Uh, overall, the presentation was fun. It was a decent showing of what's there. It was very different than when I saw the Elden Ring presentation in the sense that Elden Ring was like something new. I didn't know what I was walking into. Versus Monster Hunter World, I'm starting off with the, the framework of what the game already is. The, the tracking, the monster, the combat. I already have gone through that. They've introduced new elements. So like they have some monster attacks that are going to have, you have to kind of have, it's going to like be an insta-kill, but you have time to react and dodge possibly. You're going to have monsters engaging in fights with other monsters. Again, we talked about that in the interview already. So a bunch of new things. Uh, I'm interested to see what's going to be happening over there. We are going to be diving into demos of Monster Hunter World Iceborne very shortly. We be facing off against a particular monster. Uh, things may or may not happen. I may pull out my camera during the demo. I may not. We'll see what happens over there. Uh, but overall, it, it's more Monster Hunter World. If you like Monster Hunter World, this is likely more stuff you're interested in. If you don't like Monster Hunter World, I don't imagine this changes your mind. And if you haven't dived into Monster Hunter World yet, this may be the best way to do it. I don't know. It depends what you're looking for. They have options at retail as well. 
and then of course the crowdfunding campaign, but that does mean you'll have to, have to you know, wait or be tempted by all the extras and all that. Uh, but that's where we are so far with the demo. More stuff are happening. Like I said, demo's happening, and then we're going to be doing film playthroughs and sessions tomorrow, so this is not the last you'll see of this. So we headed to the Steam Forge offices to get in some late night gaming. So far we spent the past like 20 minutes talking and getting things set up, but right now they're setting up for a game of Chaos in the Old World. Fun fact, this is actually my copy straight from Cleveland, all the way over here, uh, being played, the Empire Kislev, Norsica, Troll Country, and then we have Shay over here, how's it going? Shay from RTFM and from Router Runs Through, and over here we have a, oh, nope, he just ducked around, whoa, Devin, that was beautiful, that was beautiful. And then we're setting up to play Viticulture, uh, Viticulture, over here. We're going to be playing this one. we got Daniel Sandring going to be teaching us the game. Or I already know how to play, actually, yeah. but we're going to be playing this one very shortly. And then the night is young. We have opportunities. We might play Sea of Thieves the card game next. Uh, of course, we have this little guy over here. From, here we go. We've got a wild pressing bag in the background. We have my favorite little Dark Souls guy over here. And there's just display cases full of miniatures. This is, this is a very cool office with a lot of tributes to a lot of things from the games they've worked on, the IPs they've worked on, their in-house titles. Hopefully no spoilers in the video, but feel free to comb the footage for something that you're not supposed to see. Maybe I should send this game to Steamforge first, I don't know. But either way, uh, that's what we have. I'll, I'll check back in as we continue through the night. Get my own. You paid a premium for that, so I don't get no, a No, I get a one gold discount. You paid three instead of one? Yeah. Wow. Spiteful. But the right choice. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Then you have, no, that's it, that's around. So we age our grapes. Yep. And so they wouldn't have added, they wouldn't have added corruption. Six, okay. that's an explosion. Yep. All right. So you go so one hit. One hit. Uh, I want to kill one of your warriors. Okay. So then we'll fight back. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we'll kill these two hits. Uh, hey, well, I can back. remove my own cultist, okay? <laughs> I will not be helpful anymore. Thank you, sir. Uh, please, please, help, please continue to help. I can't do anything without you. Uh, we left off last night with a game of Viticulture. That's uh, what it was. Do you have a battery? I have. No. I have I, my charger. I have a charger. I have a charger here. Alex and I, I'm sure you guys have seen because we double vlogged earlier, but Alex and I have the same camera. You can't see his, so that doesn't really help showing mine. We have the same exact camera, except mine is white. You're looking for look for a mirror. Look for a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's fine. Uh, what we really could do if we wanted to super inception it is look at my viewfinder. There you go, guys. It's focusing on the camera. Not the that works. There you go. That works. Um, that was pretty good. Good job. Thank you. I'm so impressed. impressed. I'm a professor. Um, except mine is my analysis is bad. I have a battery. I have a charger. You have. We'll do oh, I don't know if I have a converter. I'm, I'm middle filming. I'll be right back. Anyways, uh, currently, we are uh, we finished off last night with Viticulture, played through that, had fun. Right now, Devin's set up over here because What's Devin, say good morning. Good morning. We are currently set up over here to uh, start the uh, Steam Forge sure. official mm. playthrough. Well, I guess this is going to be a continuation. So we played the demo last so night. I don't know if we talked about this. We played the demo last night. So I'm going to keep comments to an absolute the, minimum of the demo is because the fact that well, you can watch that over on the uh, Steam Forge channel if you want to see the zero, full film playthrough, as well as of course first impressions with Devin, so, myself, okay. and Megas. So so um, I can't do the first impressions yet because that's not this video. I have already played a full game of Iceborne, and we'll be playing another full game of Iceborne shortly. And I'm noticing that my camera is. Running very, very low on battery, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge that and plug that in. Uh, but we'll see you back. We're gonna be having fun going through this. We got official like film crews and everything set up. Everything's always very high class and all that stuff. Good stuff. And I need to get some seltzer water to um, so I can be hydrated while we film. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Steam Forge Games, and today you can play with me in Animal Adventures. What's your name? I'm Scooter McStuffin. Uh, what do you do here? Of the McStuffin line. And obviously, with my wizard hat, I create magic. What do you do for Steam for specifically? Oh, uh, I run some RPGs, you know, I play a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I do some develop work, I paint the minis for them, I do some sculpting, a little bit of marketing. You paint minis with those paws? Woof! That's dog for yes. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And sculpting too? Mm hmm. Who do you work with? Um, I'm kind of a loner. Wow, that must be hard for you. Do you want any friends or? Woof. That's dog for yes, right? That's dog for yes. Got it. Well, it's nice to meet you, uh, Scooter. I, I hope you have a good day here at, at Steam Forge, and also uh, good luck with the painting. I mean, I've seen some amazing painting over here, but if that's you, that's really impressive. Oh me! I use all four of my paws. 
Okay, we finished the playthrough. We also just finished filming our first impressions. Basically, just, you know, took down the big bad and all that stuff. We have the, um... I don't remember the name. It's the Rajang. We have the Rajang take down the uh, Barathos. I don't... I never played the original, so I don't know. Uh, we won. We won is the point. It was a little less uh, cinematic. Yeah, it's a little less cinematic than uh, when we played last night, the non-film playthrough. But still decently cinematic. Still decently fun. You can watch the whole film playthrough, see what happened. Ignore the part where I said we won. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't, I don't know. You can also watch, oh, that, that'll be over on the Steam Forge channel, you can check that out. You can also check out the um, the first impressions and all that, but overall, it's still a fun time. The changes they make are just basically all positive and better over the original Monster Hunter, which is always tough, by the way, because the balance is, I hate, I hate being like, you know, hey, the new stuff is better, the new stuff is better. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't, but there's always that aspect of like, well, what about old stuff? I just got the old stuff, and that's fair, that's a good question. I would say that the changes that Iceborne has brought to the table I think some of them are just rules changes that you could easily incorporate into your original Monster Hunter World, and I think it would make the experience slightly better. Not like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever, and you need it. Your original Monster Hunter World is still good, and still will be 95% the same game. But that 5% is better, and I think that either through house rules or just straight up applying new rule sets, you can easily incorporate them into your original game. This is not a, you must get Iceborne. Far, far, far from it. But I do think Iceborne is straight up an improvement over the original to that small 5%, you know, upgrade and all that. But, and that's not always the case, you know, Zombicide is a good example of a series where sometimes I have liked the new stuff, sometimes I haven't. It's case by case. Uh, the nature of iterating upon a system means sometimes you'll find those things that you can clean up, that players have given you feedback on and you have now incorporated. And other times you try to be innovative and it's not as good. Both things happen. In this case, it's basically the same game with the drop of innovation. So yeah, Monster Hunter Real Iceborne. We just wrapped up like, I don't know, five rounds of Resistance Avalon in a row. We're wrapping up on the final of the headquarters. It's 12 a.m., I guess, 12 a.m. Devin is a horrible, horrible human being because he did not believe me even when I completely told him the exact truth or the entire truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth, the entire truth. I just took a whole video that was just me clicking the photo button twice. Yeah, like I said, Devin's a moron. Uh, and we we lost because of it, but that's okay because we had a lot of fun and uh, we're wrapping up. It's going to head back, fall asleep now, and then get up promptly at like 5 in the morning to take an Uber to the airport for our international flight to uh, Dublin, then um, Boston, then Cleveland. Yeah, I'm tired. I can barely track what's going on. I'll talk to you in the morning. Landed in Boston and Devin headed off, Meg headed off, Danielle Standry headed off. She kind of joined us for a whole lot of the trip in the end, which was awesome because She's a lot of fun to hang out with, but should have probably caught everyone with like a little bit of video before we left, but it's fine because I'll be seeing everyone at Gamma next week. So the real question, the one I don't have an answer to, is do I somehow merge these blogs and probably not. I'll probably just do this alone. Speaking of which, I was in the middle of filming with them uh, top 10 games to play on a plane on a plane. That backlight is bad. Top 10 games to play on a plane on a plane, meaning we filmed it on the plane. Uh, but unfortunately, we still have like three left to go. We only got the first seven done because we, we did it in small clips. We didn't want to like annoy people around us with like an hour long video. So we just do one at a time and circle and we did that over multiple flights. But then the last flight, we were mostly all crashing. So like we had a six hour flight and we were like asleep for most of it. So we didn't get to finish that video. I will probably be finishing it with Devin separately. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but probably on the way to Gamma. I believe on the way to Gamma, we're meeting up on the second leg of the flight, so we'll probably finish that there, and I don't know. We'll figure it out, but that video might be going up later instead. Honestly, this video, I don't know what it goes up either, because I have like two days to get caught up in work before I head out to Gamma. Uh, Steam Push Games was a lot of fun. The whole entire trip was a ton of fun. Got to hang out, got to play games. I really like the people there. I mean, people, one of the things that's always interesting is people always focus on a lot of elements of different pies, like, hey, they flew down for a trip, or, you know, hey, you got a sword from ship there, or things like that. And those are things to be mindful of. But the hardest thing to always struggle and balance is is the is the relationships, is the fact that like I'm genuinely friendly with a lot of people in the board game space, and that is always something that makes it harder. Now, personally, I always try to juggle and balance as much as possible and do the best I can, understanding that I'm not perfect and mistakes might be made. But like, I remember the first time, like I released my review of of uh, Bard Song, which was a game that I enjoyed but thought I had too much grind. I was mindful. I was like, you know, hey, these are people who I like, and uh, we'll see. Maybe they stop working, maybe not. And to their credit, Steam Forge games in particular, they're awesome. Like they they saw the video, they're like, hey, we appreciate it. You know, we know parts weren't for you, but that's awesome. Like that awesome. That's that is what it is, and I appreciate. We want you to always feel comfortable giving whatever negative feedback possible because our goal is to always improve and I actually had follow-up conversations with them about things I didn't like for the game and how that could possibly be improved but they they in general have been awesome to work with but 
there's a lot of things to balance in life. There's a lot of things to balance in the space and do the best that I can to try to have fun for myself, to try to do a service for publishers and, and viewers alike, and to just, it's a lot to balance. And I know that these trips are, are always, are always interesting to balance. There are some people who don't mind them at all, and they're happy for a look behind the scenes. And then there are people who understandably are concerned that a company is flying you in and giving you like special VIP treatment and all that stuff, and that could affect things. And I get what there is to be concerned about. On my end, I will always simply do the best I can, try to be mindful as much as possible, and that's the best, that's the best I can do. I'll try to be mindful, and hopefully, hopefully my opinions will match up enough with the final products and the final opinions that over time I build up a relationship of, you know, being able to be trusted. That's the, the best I can do. This is a lot of fun. I don't know if this is going to be the last video segment of the vlog. I don't know. I'm about to hop on my final flight to Cleveland. They're finally boarding, and then at that point, I need to go home and crash because over the past three days, I spent way too little time sleeping, and then I have to work, and then head out to Gamma. Dear Lord, I love my life, but it is work. It is work. In any case, I'm Alex Rackler from Boardium Kill. I hope you enjoyed this little vloggity vlog, and until next time, I hope you have a good one.